Yo, and welcome to the series, my series, starring me, classic and modern gaming. Like, this is the first generation of modern games. Like, like, like where classic and modern gaming has a borderline, like, it's around that time I'm talking about. But back in the 90s, like, back in 1994, PlayStation started out, and Okay, so back in 1994, PlayStation started off as this, the PS1, and in Japan they have the PSX, and this is my slim model, like, they made the slim model in 2001, I don't have the original 94 model, because this is the slim model, it is open like this and the discs are big and then in the year 2000 not 2001 but 2000 we have the ps2 which is this heavy thing there's also a ps2 slim i have here like right here in my room that is right here like, but this was later, so I'm not really sure. So today, I want to talk about when hand, when PlayStation became a on the go trip thing, kind of. People were acting like people really enjoyed PlayStation games. But people were asking the unknown question When will PlayStation become portable? That all changed in that year, 2005. The year the Game Boy Micro and the Xbox 360. Like the Game Boy Micro and the Xbox 360 just came out that year, and the play and the PSP also got it too. Behold, so like, isn't I'm talking about like 2005, the classic Flash modern gaming borderline. Like it was a year before the PS3 came out. That was when. Uh, uh, the PSP came out. Yeah, I know, I got two of them. First, I want to show you the original 2005 fat model. Like, lots of people in me upgraded to the fleet. But let me show you my very first PSP. So, basically... Like, here's your very first, here's the very first, on my very first PSP. I know it's missing the battery. Well, this thing is broken, so I upgraded to the Slim. Well, that's why I have two PSPs here that I'm going to talk about. So, in 2005, that's when PlayStation became portable. So, let's see the buttons. So, you got your D pad, triangle, circle, X, and circle. Oh, wait, the triangle, circle, X, and square buttons, like always. Your logo PSP down there. Your volume buttons. Your home button. Your select and start buttons. Your battery, which is apparently missing. But I can't find now. And it says Master Gate Ratchet. 
Plus. Here's your memory card insert. Plus. Here's a PSP game, for example. Like, if you want to put it in. Practically, there's a switch right here. I will open it. If you just do it and ta da! It's like a magic. Like that thing. Like, that's supposed to happen. Like, well, it kind of broke for me, so that's why I got the slim. And, yeah, so this was a great console. Like, here's also your joystick, which also broke off. Your little round texture thing. You had a huge screen here. And you have your PlayStation logo here. And, yeah. Plus, you had your power switch. Like, you could, like, to turn it off completely, you had to hold it like this. And then it would turn off. But to only turn it off into sleep mode, you would do this, then let go. Then you turn it on, and it would save your progress. Plus, there's also the hold button. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But it's kind of confusing. It's a Sony right here. The shoulder buttons L and R right here. And the speakers were basically down here. This is the way you plug your charger into and your earbuds will go here. So that would basically describe my, the original 2005 model of a PSP. Now let's compare that to a newer model. And this is like a PSP carrying bag or such thing, like a carrying case or something. So I'll just put my PSP in here. And now I'll work on my other one. Like, so later on, like around 2008 or 2009, later on, like around 2008, Wait, let me show you what the PSP game case looks like. So it looks like this. This one is Medal of Honor Heroes. And we open it. Yeah, and the PSP game looks like this. And but wait, I'll show it to you later. First, I want to get to the parts of the slimmer version of the PSP. So. Here you have your D-pad, triangle, circle, X, and circle like the original one. Instead of being down here, the speakers were up here this time. They're basically two ovals again. Here's your earbud jack. Your charger would go. You still had your hold button. And And of course you had home, volume, PSP, logo, green brightness, and volume thing. Not volume, but I don't know what that music note's supposed to be. That was, I forgot to mention on the fat PSP. I did mention the start and start buttons, the shoulder buttons. And this is a little more delicate because it's Slim, 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 slim. And here's your battery cover. And hold on one second. And here's your battery cover. Here's where you insert your memory card. And here's like your little power switch. It says W L A N. Instead of being like a little open button on like the older one, this one actually would see if you had the signal or not. This would be like a link cable or something, like an internet cable. I don't know. Now, let's, instead, uh, and this one, you had to manually open it yourself. Like, okay, so here's 
Medal of Honor Heroes, and it's on the greatest hits list. Even though it doesn't always stay on the case, the game itself is on the list. And fits into the case like this. And it says UMD Universal Media Disc. So, why don't we turn on the PSP and go inside the system? So let's turn it on. I got my little angry Mr. Krabs. Angry looking Mr. Krabs as a wallpaper. So it doesn't really make any difference. You see the date, the time, the three bars, like, it says game sharing. I'll be right back. Okay, so... Back to the PSP for game sharing. Memory stick utility. Memory stick. And back here, you have settings. Let's see all my pictures. I'll be right back. Sorry, I just heard the noise. So, I got my picture is kind of cute okay so you also have online instruction manuals. You have location free player. You have Skype. You have the remote play. You have the internet radio. You have the RSS channel. The internet browser. And the internet search. I want to discover the RSS channel. Wait, I'm accessing internet. Never mind. I'll do this later. Plus you have your internet browser. I'll just show you what it looks like. So you have your little mouse. It's cute, isn't it? Wait. So, back to 
who went now the thing I want to show you now is finally I want to show you one more thing gameplay so we take a game we open this thing we take the game we insert it And just so I could play it in front of your beautiful eyes, just press the update. And all the work. I forgot to tell you, PlayStation Network. And now, I want to show you the game. Play. Now I'm playing Medal of Honor here. This takes a while. Wait. I'm gonna get Medal of Honor here. See what well, first I gotta be here. I'm also planning on getting Grand Theft Auto games for this thing. I've got a Belgium, and I'll do like one objective of the mission, only if it's a short objective. <laughs> it's a long objective, and I'm just gonna only do half of the objective. One. I'll just do a secondary mission. This is a better gun. So now, well, that's it, guys. And comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video for more of my awesome video game series. Like, I did video game reviews on Mario Plus. See ya.